Chris Clark here with palmettopreps.com and joined for another, uh, we're, we're calling these quarantine conversations and uh, we're going to be talking today with uh, Eastside quarterback Marshall Skoloff. Appreciate you joining me today, man. How's, uh, how's everything been going? It's been going well. How about yourself? Yeah, doing fine. Keeping busy. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's going to be neat, I think, to hear your perspective as a, uh, as a high school football player. Um, obviously a very unique time, uh, not something anybody's really gone through. Um, for, for you, how different has this been just as far as, you know, you, you guys would be what, locked in, you'd be working out, doing spring ball, all sorts of yes, stuff. Sir. How's it been handling that? I mean, it's been really stressful because, I mean, I love practices. Practice is something I really take pride in. So not being able to do that, get chemistry with new teammates, just practice, learn new stuff, lift weights, all that kind of stuff. It's really, I guess the best way would be stressful because, I mean, obviously everybody wants to be successful in their, um, in their upcoming seasons. And my biggest goal is to stay championship. This is my last year, so not having spring practice really hurts us. For sure. So I, I was going to go there next. Obviously, you know, uh, nobody can have spring practice right now. So in that regard, everybody's sort of even playing field, right? But what can you do? individually or even with your teammates uh, not being able to be together, you know, what, what can you guys do individually to, to try to get better right now? Is it just about going back and watching film from last season or working out on your own? What types of things are you doing? So those are two really big things, working out on your own and um, watching film. I really take pride in watching my own film and watching our games from last year, offense and defense. And I tell my teammates to do the same thing, especially our receivers, just to learn, like, the difference between the cover two and the cover three, the difference between – man zero and cover one stuff like that just because when we get in the game they have a certain route they'll know where exactly to take it and stuff like that so it's just mental reps because we can't have actual reps right now and then the lifting weights part that's huge because everyone you know lifting weights is something everybody needs to do especially when you play football just to get stronger and our weightlifting coach he um we have a google classroom where he'll send us our daily assignments on what he wants us to do each day so for the people that don't have a weight room it's like it's flexible it's like you can do lunges on a chair stuff like that so yeah, Our coaches have really been a huge part of all this crazy stuff going on. But, yeah. How have your, your workouts, um, you know, at home, is it, is it harder to work out individually? As if, I know you work out individually in the past, but that team aspect, is it a little bit harder? Do you feel like your workouts, are you pushing yourself even harder than usual? Or are they about the same? I don't think that they're harder. I just don't think – it's as much fun because I just I love competing so lifting with other people really makes me want to go from lifting this amount of weight to more and lifting by myself I really have to learn how to challenge myself and not challenge against somebody or not challenge myself against somebody else so that's something I've really been learning how to do but honestly lifting by yourself and lifting with teammates and with friends and stuff it really doesn't make a difference as long as you're motivated yeah let's uh let's go back if we can to last season um, you guys had a had a nice year, obviously at East Side, and accomplished some things. But um, talk just sort of break down the season last year. Obviously, you know I know it didn't end how you wanted it to, as far as the the exact end result. But still a nice year for you guys. What when you look back, what do you think about the 2019 season? This is really a dream come true. It was one of the best seasons I could have hoped for, honestly. And obviously it ended early, but man, that was that was the most fun I've ever had playing football, having those teammates had around me, that offensive line, which four of them are returning. So I'm really happy about that. But um, we lost Peyton, Cody, our two best receivers, but we have some young kids that are, they're going to step up. I know they will. They did pretty good last year with one kid named Devery Cagle. He's a really good player. Right. So, yeah. Well, Peyton Mangrum is a guy I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, still a little bit surprised about how his recruiting process went mm -hmm. as far yeah. as, lack of bigger offers, but uh, going to walk on at South Carolina, it looks like. Um, what, what makes him so good, do you think? He just prepares. He, he works. He works harder than anyone else in whatever room he's in. And he's, he's a really good guy. I like him. He's, he's fun to hang out with. Yeah. He's just all around. He's a good person. And he really pushes you as a football player and as a human being to get better. When you look at your game individually, obviously you play a, a very important position at quarterback. I know we talked maybe a few months ago about what you did last off season, you know, to take your game to the next level. And I think one of the things you mentioned was watching a lot more film. Yes, sir. Which you do now. So 
for you, what, what does that next step entail? You know, obviously you're on the film and everything, but what, what do you have to do to take your own game to the next level and help propel your team for next year? Really what I've been pushing to do besides watching film is working on my speed and gaining weight at the same time. So I gained, uh, I gained 20 pounds since last season. I'm at 187 now, but I, my 40 time went down a little bit. So now I'm working on getting my 40 time back up. So I got it back to where it was. So I just have to learn to keep that balance there. Yep. So really just getting bigger and faster is what I've really been working on. Cool. Now let's get into the recruiting process too. Um, you know, you're, you're 2021 <laughs> class member and obviously things are, shut down right now in terms yes, of in-person, you know, recruiting. But get, give us a little bit of a sense of what, uh, what's been going on with you in terms of interest from schools and maybe some of the ones that once things do open up, uh, you're going to go take a look at. So it's been going pretty well. It's, I have a bunch of coaches texting me, like, on Twitter DMs, and I'm getting their phone numbers, having calls with them. So when the, all this opens back up, I'm hoping to go to Mercer, hopefully Coastal Carolina, Western Carolina, and then there's a couple more schools, but really I'm pushing to go to just good sized schools, not like giant schools. I want to go somewhere where I can play three to four years. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think that you're going to bring to a college program? You know, I mean, coaches don't have the evaluation period right now as far mm -hmm. as being able to go out this spring and maybe see a guy throw in person, or uh, they really have to rely on film and then what happens this season. So they'll get to see you later this season, but – um, you know, what are you telling them about uh, and what can you tell us about what you're going to bring to a college program, whoever ends up offering, wherever you end up going? Yeah, so what I really take pride in even now in high school, and I know I'll carry on for the rest of my life, is dedication, hard work, and leadership. Those are three things I really – I can get better at. I still – every day I try to get better at, but those are three things I really take pride in for myself. Deal. Now, when you look at next season, obviously there's some unknowns, you know, When's practice going to start? When's the season going to start? Will it start on time or not? We don't know. We'll find that out. But whenever it does start, when things get back to normal, what's the outlook for you guys? Um, you know, just in terms of – I know you hit four offensive linemen coming back, losing a couple key receivers. But offensively, defensively, special teams, you know, what's it look like this season for you guys? And what's some of the team goals that you have in mind? Well, like I said earlier, man, state championships the only thing any of us want. So we just have to outwork every single person, outwork each other, outwork other teams, out, just outwork everybody. And I feel like we'll be pretty successful. Yeah. T tell me just a, little, a few little bonus questions here. And I'm putting you a little bit on the spot, but you mentioned some of the guys that you played uh, with, with Peyton, um, especially last season. What about some of the guys that you played against maybe? Oh, man. That were that – were, you know, really good players, yeah. or some guys maybe you've seen on the camp circuit. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, any that any that stand out? So the two DMs from Greer, Xavier and Jakari, and those those kids were special, man. They were getting at me the entire game. <laughs> um, number eleven from Westwood, he was like Isaiah Simmons. He just played everywhere on defense. I never knew where he was going to be, and he was an absolute stud. So those are three kids that really got to my head when we played them. Yeah, good deal. Uh, Sounds good, man. Well, Marshall, I appreciate you taking some time to chat with us today, man. Uh, glad everything's going well. Keep working hard, and uh, we're going to catch up with you soon and keep tracking your recruiting. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Marshall. Take it easy, man.